one thing that's always been important is to be able to recognize any flaws even while things are going good not and that's not to be a negative nancy or a debbie down or anything like that but still to be able to acknowledge things that you're doing wrong that you could improve on that you could get even better in areas that you can get even better in and i think the baltimore ravens need to do a good job of that but my guy Dominic, he said he's gonna do an even better one. First question came from Dominic, who is a team keep it clean patron. I appreciate you by the way. Thank you, man. He said, "What's up, Engraven? Hope you had a great time at the tailgate and the game." I first want to say when I came up to you, I didn't mean to just barge in like that on you guys' conversation. Pardon me for that. No, no, man. We all it, everything's good, man. I, I, I appreciate you coming through, man. I, I appreciate meeting you, man, and you taking the time out of your time uh, to to stop by. So, so thank you for that, man. You ain't gotta apologize for nothing, man. Anyway, he said. Uh, to my question, it was a great win, but I've seen some issues that we still need, uh, and those issues are on defense. We think of our linebackers as the best in the league, but one glaring thing I've seen these last two games is that they are suspect in coverage. I don't know what it is, but the Bengals had too much success exploiting the linebacker in coverage matchup, and let me know if you've seen that as well. I did. Um, especially with, with Patrick Quinn. It was a little bit of a rough game for him. And Roquan Smith sometimes, too. Um, but I, I think um, something to keep in mind with that is context. And it's not, not that it's an excuse at all, but context. The Baltimore Ravens uh, play the Cincinnati Bengals two times a year. Two times a year. So the Baltimore Ravens and Cincinnati Bengals, they study each other like crazy. They know each other like crazy. because They've been going at, it, at this thing for a long time. So, and even last year, uh, the Baltimore Ravens played the Cincinnati Bengals three times a year. Roquan played in two out of three of those games, because I don't think he played in the first one. But I know he played in the last one, because, I mean, it was week 17, 18, and then he played in the playoff game. Um, but, so, so they, they know them like crazy. And with Roquan Smith, Patrick Quinn, they know them especially. They played Patrick Quinn, because Patrick Quinn is always playing. He's always out there. So they played him three times last year. They played Patrick Queen three times last year, Roquan Smith two times last year, and now they played Roquan Smith and Patrick Queen two times this year. So they know them. They know their tendencies. They know uh, their event. They know what they can take advantage of. They know their weaknesses and whatnot. They know them. So the fact that they know them so well, that gives them a big advantage. Now, Raven, while the Bengals play the Ravens a bunch of times, the Ravens also play the Bengals a bunch of times. So it's up to the Ravens to, if you see something they're doing, hey, you need to fix some stuff. You need to take advantage of them. Take advantage of their weaknesses. So it, it, it goes both ways. Um, so, but with, with Roquan Smith and Patrick Quinn, because I noticed like the, the game that comes to mind for me, uh, with Ro sorry, something was floating in there. Uh, but the game that comes to mind to me with, uh, with Roquan Smith, uh, another game where he was just exposing coverage, um, was that Steelers game from last year. Uh, he gave up the game winning touchdown to Najee Harris, and I was like, oof. Yikes, that, that, was, that was rough. But then, um, oh, no. Was that the first Ravens Steelers game for Roquan Smith, though? It might have been. So, never mind. I guess I got to X that out because um, <clears throat> if that was his first Ravens Steelers game, then, uh, then yeah, they wouldn't have a bunch of film on Roquan Smith to really know him. Like but anyway, so scratch that. Uh, but, yeah, I think that's what it is with the Bengals. Um, and, yeah, and, and maybe, um, maybe it was just an off game. Maybe it was just an off game because we have seen them look good in past coverage we have seen them do well in past coverage but i do know like I, I remember and we said it before we mentioned it before how usually in every game and it was for a while especially early on in the season but usually for every game roquan smith and patrick queen they were each making big plays every game but these past couple of weeks we, we haven't been seeing it so there have been some slip-ups but maybe like the 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 game is catching up to them and they would just been tired because raven's been playing a lot and they had no break They've been doing a lot of travel. And they ain't had no break. They've been playing a lot of games. They ain't had no break. So now they finally get a nice 10 day break. So that'll be cool. And then they play the Chargers, Sunday Night Football. And then after that, they'll have the bye week. So they'll be set up even nicer. Next questions came from my guy Gareth, who is also a team keeper clean patron. So I appreciate you. He said, first of all, prayers to 89. My heart goes out to him. Uh, I've been thinking for a while, but scared to ask if Lamar Jackson wins the Super Bowl, do you think he is. A Hall of Famer. Oh. Um, no, he, he wouldn't be a Hall of Famer. He would be a, an amazing player, obviously. Um, but he would have to do more to be a Hall of Famer. He did change the game and he has had a huge impact on the game, but I do not think he would be in the Hall of Fame uh if he won the Super Bowl. So he would have to he would have to do a lot more 
um, add a lot more numbers to his career and whatnot, a lot more wins and stuff. Cause he, his career win percentage is amazing. It's like among the best. If is it the best? If it ain't, no, it's it's among the best. It's like definitely like top two, maybe top three, but it's up, it's definitely up there. Um, so he we wins a lot more than he loses, and it's at a crazy percentage. But um, Hall of Famer, no, not yet, not yet. He said, uh, uh, Gary said, I think he is six years and still no one has an answer for him. I would love your insight as always. Hope you and your family are doing great. <clears throat> for Marlon Humphrey, my heart goes out to him as well. Thanks. Yeah, no, thank you. Um, and yeah, we are doing great. I appreciate you asking. But yeah, no, nah, I, I, I just, I, I don't think he's a Hall of Famer yet. Um, he, he still got a ways to go. Uh, here's another next question. He said, um, what a game it was against those Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, I've also had this on, oh, hold up. <laughs> I'm tripping because <laughs> He asked the question, but he he just sent it twice. So he, he got me over here reading it twice. So it's all good. Kyle getting ready to read the same thing again. He just wrote it a different way. But it's all good. Shout out to my guy, Gareth, who's been a team keeper clean patron for uh, a while. But, yeah, uh, back to uh, the, the question on Lamar Jackson being in the Hall of Fame. Usually with the Hall of Fame, like we know Lamar Jackson, he uh, he's like lit the NFL world on fire. He's been an amazing player. Um, but the Hall of Fame, it, it goes based off of you being one of the best of the best, but you being one of the best of the best for a long time. And Lamar Jackson, well, he came in 2018. So 2018, 19, 20, 21, 22, <laughs> 23. So, yeah, he's just been in the game six years. Six years. And he missed some significant time, too. So, but that's that that wouldn't be long enough for somebody to make it in the Hall of Fame. Six years, it, it wouldn't be long enough. So if he plays uh, him playing another six years, then there's a real possibility there. And if he continues everything that he's been doing, and he has a Super Bowl, and he continues everything that he's been doing, especially with just all these these records that he keeps breaking, like it's like almost it's like every every game, every two games, every other game, it's like you see a new record broken uh, from Lamar Jackson. But um, so yeah, it, it will take a while. Six years though, he wouldn't make it into the Hall of Fame with just a six year resume. 